Hello and welcome to Youth TV. Today we're going to be looking at this. This is the Long Way 858D Hot Air Gun and Desoldering Station. So let's head over to the workbench and give it the once over. Okay, so this arrived from Amazon this morning. So let's open up the box and see what we've got. So this is the long way hot air gun. Right, so first of all, fairly standard generic Chinese English manual. Okay, what do we got in the box? We have a power cable, a small pack of desoldering tips. The cradle for the hot air gun. The Chinese card. Oh, ching chong chong cha. Don't know what that reads. Sorry, not don't speak Chinese. Uh, inside we have the machine itself. Nothing else in the box. So let's clear that. Okay, so Certainly plenty of tape, but better overpacked than underpacked, I say. So, let's have a look. Just unpack the cradle. Okay, so what we got? We've got the main unit, the cradle with a loose screw, and what that's for. Um, two loose screws and the fixing brackets, the gun itself, and of course the unit. So this is the. Let's zoom in there and have a look. This is the Long Way 858D. It's listed as a, as a desoldering station, but it's basically a hot air gun. So on the front panel we have an on-off switch, up-down, which I assume controls the temperature, and an airflow knob. So, overall build quality. It's made of metal. Uh, nice rubber feet on the bottom. On the back we have a standard IEC socket with a built-in fuse. Mysterious hole, uh, CE and Ross labelling. Now, I believe the bracket can be attached either to the left or to the right. There are two holes either side, and you just basically turn the bracket around depending which side you want it on. Personally, I'm going to be putting it on the the right side, so I'm not totally sure which way this has to go. Mm. Let's have a quick look at the manual. Mm. Mm. One illustration. It looks as if the slope the bottom so I need to turn this bracket round so that's on this side. So let's do that first of all. Uh, let's take off these screws.
and then we just flip the bracket over and reattach the base with the screws. Okay, so yes, as I suspected, there's obviously a magnet inside the cradle, which when the hot air gun is sitting in it, makes a connection and turns off the heating element. We'll see that in a moment. So I'm gonna fix this to the side with the screws provided. All fingers and thumbs today. So, need a larger screwdriver to drive that home. They seem quite stiff these screws, but as long as they're secure, that's all that matters. Sound very promising, does it? No, it doesn't. don't seem to be the right size for the holes. That's annoying. So that's the first negative point against this device. The screws supplied don't seem to fit the holes provided. Or oh, have I just misthreaded them? Let's just try. Hmm. Okay. I will leave putting the cradle on for now and just check everything else works. So let's get the cable untied. Plug in the power cable. So again, this is the UK, so it comes with a UK three pin plug. Obviously, depending on your country, it'll come with an appropriate cable. So we plug into the back, like so, and then I shall plug this into a power outlet. Make sure everything's turned off and down. Turn on at the mains. Uh, so powering on, we're getting temperature increasing.
Okay, so this is the gun. It's getting hot. There's no separate switch on the gun itself. So as I've said, once it sits in the cradle, it is meant to turn the temperature off, which it isn't. Now it is. So it needs to be turned into the side. As you can see, the temperature is dropping. And if I take it out of the cradle, the temperature begins to increase again. So, okay, just the airflow rate. You can hear it's getting, the fan's getting noisier, so it's getting faster. Uh, we can adjust the temperature up and down in one degree increments. But let's leave it at 300. That seems to be the default temperature. I can smell it. Um, it's very hot. So again, we'll just test the test that it does. Put in the cradle, and it should. Yes, it's starting to reduce the temperature. It's going down quite quickly. Okay, so overall seems a nice little unit. A little bit annoyed about the screws on the side, but we'll sort that. Okay, so it's stopped now and it's the reading says SLP. We'll have to check the manual to see what that actually means. I'll we'll just turn it off and it's still hot to the touch, so be careful with that. So Let's just get these screws sorted out. Otherwise, compact, neat little soldering, soldering hot air gun. Okay. Okay, so here's a, a slightly different view. I managed to get the cradle attached with a bit of perseverance. So let's just check it again from the front. So turning it on. You take off the gun, you can hear it heating up. It's already reached 300 degrees very quickly, so that's very good. Okay, so again, the airflow control simply increases the amount of air flowing through the gun. Uh, up, down temperature. There's a small calibration screw here, I just noticed. which will allow you to calibrate the temperature with a display. So if you use a, a temperature gauge on your multimeter or other temperature sensor, you can calibrate the reading to make sure it's more accurate. So again, as there's no switch on the actual gun, the theory is you put the gun in, oops, into the cradle and there's a sensor in there which tells the unit to turn off the heat. As you can see, the heat's reducing quite quickly. Obviously, be careful where you place this, so even when it's in its cradle, there's still warm air coming out of the nozzle, so make sure there's nothing flammable behind it. And once it gets down to a safe temperature, you'll see the display will change to SLP, and the fan turns off. So it's a nice compact unit. I'm very pleased with it. It just looks the part on the workbench, so yep, I'd recommend it. So this is a small demonstration just to check the accuracy of the heat that's coming out of the, the unit. We'll compare it, measure it with a, a temperature probe and a multimeter. So let's do that now. So we keep an eye on the the meter and the display on the power, the, uh, the unit itself, we should see that it's reaching temperature. So it's, it's about 300 now, so 316. That's 
pretty good I think. So the output from the hot air machine is 300 and the actual temperature is measuring at 315-ish. 3.6 so pretty good. That's quite impressive. Hi, I hope you enjoyed that video. If you'd like to see more, please click the video over here. Also, why not subscribe to our channel? We release videos three times a week on subjects about electronics, making things, building things, just having a good time in the workshop. So why not click the button below and subscribe? Thank you.